bits. Or 16 bits, which, what was, uh, what was the number of 2 to the 16th? 65. 65,000, but what did they say is there? 16. What's the difference between here and here? In bits, what's the difference in number of bits between those two numbers? Sixteen thousand is how many bits? Oh, uh, oh that's the. Uh, what's that? Sixteen thousand. How many bits? Sixteen. Did I, I didn't write this big enough. 14 bits. 14 bits. Alright. You start to see something is getting lost along the way. Alright? And you'll notice that with the C class it's got 2 million. But if you take 2 to the 24th, anybody know off the top what 2 to the 24th is? 2 to the 24th is 169. I would have thought you had this memorized. <laughs> That's okay. Let's have a look at, oh, wait a minute. Look at the number of hosts that are available. How many hosts are available on a B-class address? 6, 5, 5, 34. But what was 2 to the 16th? 6, 5, 5, 3, 6. Uh uh, what's wrong with that? We're missing two numbers. Uh, 2 to the 8th is. 256, right? What's the number of C-class hosts? What are we missing? What do you see? That Two. You begin to see a pattern emerging here? Yep. 254. 254. So we are missing two. Every network loses two addresses. Because now, again, you have to think binary. When I look at the host bits, there's two special cases. All ones, all zeros. <clears throat> they mean something special and cannot be used for an IP address. So if you see a C-class address and somebody says, and you say to somebody, well, what's your IP address? And you know it's a C-class address and they say, you know, 142, 55, 132, 255, bang, I know immediately it doesn't work. Because if it's a C-class address, it'll never have a 255. Because that indicates all ones at the end. Okay? So, what happens is that you lose two. Zero is the network ID. All ones is a broadcast on the network. So, if we're all on the same network, let's suppose that it's 142.55.132. something. None of us will have zero. None of us will have 255. Let's suppose I'm dot 13 and I do a broadcast, I would send it out to that number, 142.55.132.255, and it would be a broadcast to the entire network. So, just to let you know. This is another way of being able to look at it. You see, all nicely divided. But originally, how did they tell the difference between a, B, and C. Ah. 
Again, it was a binary solution. When you look at the first bit in the high order octet, when the first bit is zero, not a zilch, zip, but kiss, and all the other seven bits, if this bit is zero, it was defined as a class A network. What are my number values for if I only have seven bits? It goes from zero to one, uh, seven bits. One twenty-seven. One twenty-seven. We have to we have to bump down one. Okay. But you'll notice here that the range goes from one to one twenty-six. We just lost something here. Where did one twenty-seven go? Anybody want to hazard a guess? If you've done any IP networking, 127 is actually a reserved set of addresses which are called loopback addresses. So they actually took a range of 16 million numbers and it's all loopback on your machine. So if you do a ping dash for localhost in a command line on Windows 7, you'll see it translates into number 127.0.0.1. That's your machine, it never gets outside your machine. It's a loopback number. Okay, so we have class A goes from 1 to 126. Again, now how do we look at a B? A B is the first two bits. Now remember how I said we didn't actually have 65,000 class B networks, we only had 16,000. It's because two bits say it's class B. So there goes two bits. It means that the first two bits out of the 16 on a class B are always one zero. And then the rest are the actual network. Finally, class C was one one zero. Oh, why does this look at the arithmetic? Why does this make this always one twenty eight to one ninety one? You see, you have to think binary. What's the value of this bit? 128. Can never have 64 as part of it. So if these are all zeros here, this byte will be worth 128. If these bits are all ones, it will go up to, but not include, 192. Because this is 64. 192, uh, 128 plus 64 equals 192. You'll start to see these patterns at either end. Remember how I said three bits in a row is seven? That's coming this way. If you see 192, if I see 128 mentally, I know that it's the high order bit. If I see 192, I know that it's the top two order bits in something. If it's 224, then I know it's the three top bits. You know, you just happen to recognize that 128 plus 64 plus 32 just happens to equal 224. You'll see these patterns as you play with them. Okay, but you see how I'm telling you, you gotta think binary, you gotta think binary, you gotta think binary. Okay? If you don't, you miss the point. So, you can see from here, we're missing 127. Now, A little bit more stuff here. Let's see, this should stand out so we can see it. Subnet masks.
255000. You start to see a pattern here. The subnet mask here Two fifty five two fifty five zero zero. What is two fifty five again? Binary. Think binary. What is it? It's all eight bits turned on. What is zero? All bits off. You begin to see a pattern here. We're going to get more into this in subnetting. Okay? I'm warning you now, you have to think binary. Okay? You want to hazard a guess what the subnet mask is for this guy? 255, you said J dot 255 dot 255 dot zero. Zero. See the pattern? Don't be confused by the decimal numbers. For right now, it's okay to recognize 255000 is an A, 255255.00 is a B, 255255.255.0 is a C. But don't forget, it's binary. 255 is binary? Eight bits. It's all ones on, it's eight bits. Right? Yes. Zero, binary, all bits on. 255, all bits on. Two, zero, all bits on. Learn to think. Do the binary logic. Okay? Uh, uh, sir? Sorry, one, one quick question. So once again, where do you, uh, um, what, do we, what do we see to, uh, to know if they're turned on or off? Do this conversion here. Oh, okay. Do this kind of conversion from decimal to binary, binary to decimal. Oh, that, that's how you know? Oh. Yeah. Okay. This bit is on, it's a one. This bit is off, it's a zero. So when I say on or off, zero, one, with respect to binary, same thing. So the bits that they're giving you, 1 to 126, and 128 to 191. Those are the decimal ranges. Decimal ranges. So first range is for the first 1 to 8 bits. Then the second range is from 9 to 16 bits, right? So. But this one here, to, to determine that it was an A-class network, the first bit was 0. To determine it was a B-class network, the first two bits were 1, 0. And to determine it was a C-class network, it was 1, 1, 0. That was the original determination. And by the way, that has all gone the way of the dodo. Okay? We've all gone totally to subnet masking. But I want you to understand.